Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I want to explain difference between forward method of pipetting and reverse method of pipetting. So let's start with forward or normal mode of pipetting. This is standard method used for majority of the samples. So you start with uh, that you have to hold pipette vertically, you always have to hold it vertically. Next, you have to depress the plunger button to the first stop, A. Then you have to place a tip just under the surface of the liquid and then smoothly release the plunger button, B, keeping the tip at the constant depth. Next, you carefully have to withdraw the tip from the liquid, touching against the edge of the container to remove excess. Next step, in order to dispense the liquid, hold the tip at an angle of around 30-45 degrees against the wall of the receiving container, depress the plunger button to the first stop C and hold for one second. Next, push the pipette to the second stop D while sliding the pipette tip against the walls of the container. Release plunger button at this point to return it to the uppermost position E. You done. We use this first method for our pipetting with liquids which has viscosity close to water. And the reverse method is used when we are working with viscous and volatile liquids. The first step here would be different. You have to hold the pipette vertically, depress the plunger button to the first stop A and then to the second stop B. As you see this first step is different from the first method where we only go to the first stop. Here we go to the second stop. Next step, place the tip under the surface of the liquid, release the plunger button smoothly to the upper stop D. This may take a little time when using viscous liquids. If your procedure allows, wipe excess from the outer surface of the tip or touch against the edge of the container to remove excess. Next step, in order to dispense the liquid, depress the plunger button to the first stop only, first stop E. And you have to hold the plunger button at the first stop. The liquid that remains at the tip should not be included in the delivery. To ensure that the correct volume is delivered, the liquid remaining in the tip should be discarded with the tip. Releasing the plunger button at this point returns it to the uppermost position F. So as you see, this is the difference between forward pipetting and reverse pipetting. And we can review one more time very fast. First, you have to go to the first stop, draw the liquid and then release this liquid to the first stop and then go to the second stop pushing this liquid with air that is in the tip and then just release uh, the plunger and this is the end of this cycle. With reverse pipetting you go straight to the second stop, take the liquid, releasing the plunger button to the uppermost position and then you push plunger button to the first stop and then release your plunger button to the uppermost position and you are going to leave some liquid in the tip. And this is all for today, subscribe and see you in the next video, goodbye.